You know, I always find it interesting how long consoles last after the next generation of consoles release. Like, I'm super impressed that for some reason, the Nintendo Wii U released like 15 new games this year. I didn't expect that at all. I mean, one of them is called Crush Insects, that apparently released a week ago. I don't, I, I don't know what that is but it's apparently a thing. And it got me thinking, remember back in 2015, everyone and their brother and their pet dog were upset that Call of Duty Black Ops 3 was still coming out on the Xbox 360. It actually ended up being the last Call of Duty to be released on the 360 and is surprisingly still one of the most played Call of Duty games on that console, at least in 2018 still. However, it got me thinking, now that it's been, what, three years since Black Ops 3 released, are there still games being released on the Xbox 360? And the answer is yes! Why? Why do they still do this? I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm all down for support on consoles being supported as long as possible. But from a business perspective, it doesn't really make sense to still release games on the 360. At least, I think. Hopefully the next generation of consoles is some sort of cloud Xbox that actually works with 360s and Xbox Ones together. That'd be really cool, but who knows. But in the meantime, we can stop and look at all of these great Xbox 360 games that no one complained about that were released after Black Ops 3. Like, in 2015, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 5 was released on the Xbox 360 four months after it was released on the Xbox One and PS4 and bombed because the game was completely not finished. It was just a desperate attempt to renew a license and milk the franchise as long as they could before losing the rights to Tony Hawk. It was awful. 2016 we had The Walking Dead, Michonne, Telltale game, and Batman Telltale game. But uh, you know I'm not gonna criticize them too much because you know Telltale really always knows what they're doing. They make the best financial decisions that always benefit the players, you know. No, no big deal or anything. We will cancel our next games that people have already paid for, fire most of our employees, still work on our Netflix series because, you know, we gotta, we gotta finish that at least, and shut down, leaving all the story and plot lines of all of our series hanging. But, guys, we need to release these games on the Xbox 360. That is our priority and that is our prerogative. In 2017, Warner Brothers, of all companies, decided to go ahead and greenlight Cars 3 Driven to Win to release, yeah, on, on the Xbox 360. Why? Yeah, I, I don't know. They put it on everything. The Switch, the PS3, the PS4, Wii U, the Xbox 360, and Xbox One. I mean, it, it got mixed or average reviews from critics but it's on the 360. Oh, and Minecraft Story Mode Season 2 by Telltale Games also released in late 2017. Can't forget them. Despite all this, guys, somehow, some way, um, a couple of games came out this holiday season on the Xbox 360, and these companies, they got the, the best track record by far. FIFA 19 Legacy Edition, published by EA Sports, released a new FIFA game on the Xbox 360. It's actually not that impressive of a FIFA game, it's just the last FIFA game that they made for the 360 with updated players, and that's about it. But uh, they know they can milk some money out of players everywhere by releasing it, especially because some older countries don't have access to the newer gen hardware. Especially because some older countries don't have access to the newer gen hardware. Instead of releasing a free patch for everyone, let's just go ahead and resell the game and release an Xbox 360 game in 2018. The ironic thing is that this isn't even the first time EA did this. In 2013, they released FIFA 2014 or FIFA 14, whatever, on the PlayStation 2. Yeah, the Legacy Edition thing. They just kept updating it and decided, you know what, let's sell it on the PS2. I do have to say though, the worst offender by far of 2018, and I'm talking holiday 2018, we're looking all the way back. We're looking straight up at October 23rd, 2018. Luke, don't show, don't show it yet. Don't show it till I, I say, I, I say it. Guys, this game has been released on the Xbox One, 
the PS4, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and the Nintendo Wii, a console that's been dead since 2011. Just Dance 2019, one of the biggest game releases of all time, just released, guys, a few weeks ago on the Xbox 360 and, and, and the Nintendo Wii for some reason. GG! If, you, if, you're, if you're looking for the best new games to play on your, your Xbox 360, guys, go ahead and pick up Just Dance 2019. You can play... Uh, I don't know any of these songs on the list. Uh, One Kiss by Calvin Harris and, and du, du, Dua Lipa. Du, Dua, Li, Dua Lipa. I think that's how you say the name. All right. There you go, guys. Go ahead and, and, and d dance off. Well, guys, I hope you're excited for the future of the Xbox 360. I think it's time to say that unless Xbox decides to do something crazy and introduce their streaming service, which they totally could do this if they wanted to, and release it on the 360 also so everyone has access to it and they just sign up and they make a bunch of money that way, I think it's safe to say the 360 has pretty much seen its end of the days. It'll probably be supported with some new Just Dance games for the next 15 years or something crazy like that. But other than the Just Dance games, um, it looks like the great console, the 360, that has led so many of us through some amazing adventures is pretty much dead as far as new games are concerned. But you know what? There's a great library on there. There's a great existing library of games that are just outstanding. So if you were on the fence of buying a 360, buy it, of course, because there's some great games on there. But uh, just don't don't hold your breath for new releases. If, if there there's a new release that's amazing, guys, I'll, I'll let you know about it. I'll be the first one to say it. But otherwise, that's it for today. Guys, if you like this video, if you like my voice, you like these types of videos, be sure to subscribe and turn notifications on. If you like the editing, Luke would like you to subscribe too. He, he put some text on the screen saying something. I don't know what he said because I'm saying this before he edits it. All right, guys, that's it for today. Leave a comment on what 360 game was your favorite, and we'll see you all next time with a brand new video.